Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 20th of January. And it's a week that you can celebrate. There's a big change which occurs on Monday, seeing the sun power into your sister air sign of Aquarius for the first time in 10 months. Now, over the next four weeks, this gives you a wonderful opportunity to open up your world, to be more adventurous and pioneering in your approach. But the sun this week also forges a very subtle but potent link to Neptune. And Neptune is in your sector of work and your worldly interaction, giving you awesome imagination. If you can combine the two together, if you do travel, or you are in a situation where you're trying to express yourself to someone influential, as long as you go about it in the right way, they could be absolutely spellbound by what you have to say. Not least because your ruler Mercury in the second half of this week is forging a fantastic link with Mars. This can give your personal communications real vigour, authority and a sense of excitement can emanate from you. This could also be very good for your love life. Mars is the second of the two planets that influence love and romance. And of course it's the action planet, it's the more masculine side of romance. And it's asking you to be more, more go-getting. It's actually giving you a much more energising vibe, which other people can find very attractive. There's nothing like confidence to draw goodness to us in all areas of life, but particularly as far as love is concerned. And with Venus in opposition with Jupiter, and Venus being the second of the two relating planets, this can be a week when you feel particularly amorous towards someone you really like. But whether you'll want to make a firm commitment if you're footloose and fancy three is another matter. You might be quite happy to be relatively detached and free to keep your options open. In an existing relationship, unfortunately, the converse can be true. If you feel that your space and time are rather throttled and you're not really getting back what you want from the tie, either in a financial or intimate way, you may start to think that you would like to be free of it. And there may be a period when you're just hanging loose, not necessarily completely leaving, but just weighing up your options. And this week can be that time. Now Uranus has been in your sector of friendship for the last three years. And it's seen you really enjoying uh, connecting with people who are unusual or appreciate independence and freedom of thought and spirit. But it has been clashing with Pluto very badly. And it is going to do so for the rest of this year too. But we do get some respite in the second part of this week as the angle between the two just slackens off a little bit. So if there have been strains around a business involvement, I do feel that they can lessen somewhat. As this week comes to a close, I do feel that you could also make some plans for a holiday or a vacation. Higher education can also be part of your thinking. And if you are someone who has found the start of this year rather heavy and a little bit full on, this could be a wonderful opportunity to just breathe some air, do something more active and take up something which creates more variety and stimulation in your life in general. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.